Good morning, Western Slope. I'm your meteorologist Baird Vincent taking a look at that radar. We are looking pretty clear as we are starting off our morning here on the Western Slope and throughout the whole entire state of Colorado is really clear as we are starting off this week. Now, taking a look at that future cast, though, we're going to be pretty much clear in the Grand Valley today as we go throughout the afternoon hours. And then as far as eastern Utah could see some potential for some storms as they have that moisture being moved in the region from the remnants of Hurricane Hillary making its way up north towards Canada. But for tomorrow, expect some showers right around those afternoon hours and uh, mostly in the earlier afternoon hours. So 1 p.m. extended probably up until around uh, 5, 5 o'clock and then uh, just scattered showers up until around 7 after that as well. So mostly just isolated scattered showers. Pinpoint accuracy is not going to be in favor where these are exactly going to be, but the models are showing that we have the ingredients for these to actually develop and make its way to the western slope. We have a beautiful live tower cam this morning as that sun is rising in beautiful blue skies, not a cloud in sight as we are starting off our morning. We're at 72 degrees with that 10 mile an hour wind and a 31 percent humidity value, and these are expected to increase today as we have some of that moisture making its way from that southerly flow and the remnants of uh, Hurricane Hillary. However, that's also going to bring in that potential for some fire weather over to our southeast as we have a high pressure to our east, really causing that heat potential to make its way throughout the eastern United States. But fire warnings in effect until 7 p.m. in Adams County and uh, nor northeastern Colorado for today. But western slope, we're having those increased humidity values and those increased dew points going to give us a little bit of a break from that potential fire weather and then those winds right at 10 miles an hour and these are expected to increase throughout the day today. The remnants of Hurricane Hillary is bringing in that storm potential uh, throughout the western United States from so Southern California directly north up to Idaho and then parts of Nevada as well. And then Southern California seeing the potential for those flooding concerns. And then as it goes over that Sierra Nevada mountain range could break out just a little bit. So Nevada maybe not seeing as much potential as Southern California for those floodings. But heat potential over on the eastern United States is this high pressure system just circulating all of that warm air keeping them above average temperatures. And then for that setup, high pressure to our east, low pressure to our west has that southerly flow moving in that moisture from the Pacific Ocean to tap into for potential storms throughout the next few days. And then as Hillary starts making its way north, it's going to cause that pressure gradient to increase. And it's actually going to cause those temperatures or not those temperatures, those wind values to increase today. Expected some winds gusting up to 45 miles an hour in parts of eastern Utah and then on the western slope those winds will be increasing today as well. Those highs right around 98 degrees in Grand Junction, triple digits in Moab, and then really everywhere else we're just going to see 90 degree temperatures and then close to 80s in those upper elevation regions. Tonight getting down into the 60s for a break from that heat as we have that increased cloud coverage in the overnight hours. It's going to trap that heat in, leaving us above average in the overnight hours and then warming back up to a little bit cooler temperatures expected for tomorrow. That extended seven days having us cooling off tomorrow and then with that potential for some storms as we go throughout the week and then and Montrose going to be cooling off as well tomorrow and have that potential for some storms.